Can we break down Baby Shark? Baby no, shark. no, do, 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 no, go sit in the shark. car. Do, 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 do. Go home. <laughs> go na night. Go na night. All right. Go na night. So, There's this big gigantic couch and every subscriber is sitting on it and we're just like watching TV together and hanging out and I want that to feel this way. So this, All because right. it's, the lyrics are in Korean. I'm not going to put up the captions because I, I don't want you to read. Okay. I want you to watch the visuals and see if you can understand the story that's being told. Or just what you take from it. Word. Okay? Yeah, I can do that. Go ahead and hit it. Oh shit, is he gonna commit suicide? Is that what is that what you're getting? I'm like, oh like <laughs> is he gonna take his life? Like, no, don't do it. Okay, sorry. Okay. Oh no, yeah, don't, was... don't apologize. Alright. It says to never walk alone. You never walk alone. You never walk alone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that there's definitely I'm getting a lot of like like I I mean you saw my reaction like oh my goodness he's going to take his life like don't do it was my reaction and then he, he looks so sad and then the the train is coming but it's also there's people on board and they're having fun and I didn't quite understand the food fight but I want to like yeah there's a lot going on here um but I wonder how much this is like going to facilitate. I mean, I'm seeing that it's called spring day. So I wonder if like winter leads eventually to spring. So like even if you're in a season of winter in your life and you're sad and you're depressed and it may feel like there's no hope left, that there's always some that spring will inevitably come. Mm. Um, so that's kind of so I'm noticing like beach and mm. some other things involved, but I was really scared for him at first, yeah. so. <laughs> Oh, 
Nigga been a gunch. 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 hanging out and then one of them was on top of the big like this laundry pile of clothes and it almost reminds me of like kind of airing your di dirty mm. laundry like a pile of dirty laundry that you don't want to face and it's mm. just piled up and you've never dealt with it before wow. um and so but i'm also noticing that and this is a side to the actual video but i noticed that they show a lot more affection to each other mm. is that pretty common in their videos yeah absolutely and and is that common in k-pop in general that i don't know mm. i know that the the seven of them here like lived together for eight years wow. nine, nine whatever it is like they're brothers how they're, old are they like were they oh the youngest i want to say was the youngest is jk and i want to say he was 15 when he started but the oldest was I'm not sure how old the oldest was, but um, but they started young, and they're not literally brothers, right? Right. Right. But, but yeah, right. They're, they're close. But it, it just seemed to kind of reminded me of like, like I think that at least in the United States, like people would have a lot of reactions to that. Oh yeah. To showing like m men showing each yeah. other. physical affection, leaning right. on people. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it just kind of, um, it just struck me, struck me as something that like, I could see a lot of people judging and maybe oh, yeah. making judgments of their artistry or their music based on, oh, oops, uh, my hair is um, based on the fact that like, They, that it doesn't fit within a certain mm -hmm. box, which we've yeah. kind of talked about and has been a general theme of what I've noticed. So mm -hmm. just want to say those things.
Wow. Thoughts? I was shocked by the end. The shoes. And um, so a couple of questions were like, <clears throat> so when, excuse me, so when, like, there was one guy at the carousel and kind of, you never walk alone, right? And then there were other people that were isolated at various points or was it the same person being in various states of isolation because there's the guy at the bottom of the stairs there was the guy on the on the beach there was the guy walking through the the wheat um there were there was the guy on the train and he was kind of like looking out the window like always different people always okay so that that helps me so so i think that how i saw it was that and and how i know as like you know, as a mental health professional, it's like we all walk with some sort of baggage. Mm. And I think what they're saying is that like at times that baggage feels very unique and only and, and, and specific to us. And like it is individual in that it's ours, mm-hmm. but it doesn't have to be just ours. Because mm. there were times in the video where like, for example, the guys running through the wheat. Sorry, I don't know their names. But no, yeah. <laughs> guys running through the wheat field, and then he's joined by the group, mm-hmm. and then another one where like they're hanging out in the laundromat, and like maybe one of the guys is like kind of realizing like I'm just not in a good place. I feel very alone. I'm surrounded by people, and yet I still feel alone. Mm-hmm. But he's so then he like there's somebody on the the laundry pile, right? And it's like all this baggage and all this laundry that you don't feel like you can actually fold because there's too Mm. much of it, right? And then I think, like, towards one of the other images is they're all on this pile. And it's like, the pile hasn't been folded, Mm. hasn't been put away. It's still there. But people can see your baggage and still be there for you. You don't Mm. have to hold it alone. That's good. And so... I thought that one of the other really compelling images for me was when um, the carousel for me just really spoke to me and kind of brought tears to my eyes just watching. I was like, you know, just you never walk alone. Like so many people feel that they're walking alone. I've felt that in my life and, and it can be so hard to find community. And I think what's special about what I'm getting from the BTS community is that it, it is a community where mm-hmm. everybody can be a part of it. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter your age, where you're from, what language you speak, it speaks to everybody. And, um, but that particular image really, really stood out to me because there was him in front of this kind of broken down carousel. It was like some really vivid imagery. And, um, then at one point at fast kind of as you move forward he's he's there but he's surrounded by all these people just running around and running and running and running you can't even see their faces and it's like how many people feel that way in their lives that they're just that they're still moving in life that they're still there but they're so invisible yeah and that nobody is stopping and saying ross how are you right how are you actually doing Mm -hmm. and um that was way different than the other ones that we right. saw where it was kind of like, let's address the haters. Let's not put our artistry within a box or like, let's break out of the mold. And I think like that was really cool. And and now that the spring day, it's like the spring day is not just the hope that you feel for a better tomorrow, but the spring day comes when you surround yourself with people that love you and care about you. Mm-hmm. So that's how I interpreted it. Well, you hit the nail on the head in terms of... Because you haven't read any lyrics. Normally no. what I do is I go and then I read the lyrics and try to understand a little bit deeper. But you saying, you know, you can be going through winter and you're depressed, you're sad, you feel yeah. isolated. But there will be a spring day. Regardless of how bad that winter is, spring is coming. Yeah. There's no getting around it. You just sometimes you have to wait it out. Yeah. To get through the winter. So you hit the nail on the head there. 
The reason I showed you this video, this video is called The Queen. They call this The Queen. And for the kind of the reason that you're talking about, we're like, I've seen fire and I've seen mic drop and they have this power to them, but Spring Day is a different entity. There's a different level to it. Mm. Now, the way I interpreted it, I sobbed through my whole video. It was like an hour long and I just, like I could barely talk because I interpreted this as someone taking their life. And then you're watching like the fast paced stuff, the food fights, the, the laundromat, those to me were all memories. Memories that somebody had of like, we did these very mundane things or we did these, these great things, but now you're gone and we can never do them again. And I would give anything to go back to the laundromat and just sit with you and just be with you. And I can't cause you're gone. I just shattered. That's how I interpreted it. But it's, even though that's what I took from it, you know, the, the pile of clothes to me was all the lives that we've lost because wow. people couldn't get through the winter. I mean, I, I, it ruined me. Wow. I mean, yeah, I've had, thankfully I've never had a client take their life by suicide, but I have known people mm -hmm. that have, and it, it's, the survive like the feeling that you have as the survivor of that i didn't see it's funny because i said spring day there's hope mm -hmm. right for me it was because that's all i could see i was like oh there's hope right like they're getting to their spring day right. but like i think what i love about what you're saying is that like some people don't and that leaves all of us in a state of winter yeah. right and like in a state of regret or a state of what could I have done more, which mm -hmm. you can't, like you can't, you know, right. these are things that happen, unfortunately, but like, I think that like, yeah, man, that makes me want to cry too, because it's like, I think about that imagery of the shoes hanging off the, off the tree at the end. And I'm like, wow, like, you know, the, the reason why I didn't think that it, that it went through, to, that they had completed the suicide, is because um, because there was all seven of them right. in the scenes. Mm -hmm. And so I think it, I didn't, I didn't even, but I love your interpretation of it because I'm like, oh, but they're all there, right? right. It's is one day. there in spirit or like, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Right. Yeah. But are those flashbacks or those memories like, how alone were people feeling? How yeah. isolated must they must? And that's and that's one of the things about mental health and and when I'm assessing for risk or looking at you know help trying to help people who are having those thoughts. Like it can feel like an incredibly isolating experience mm -hmm. and one that um, they just need people to say I care about you. Yeah. I I you know and I just. Um, and and they, it's not just that. I don't want to imply that that's the only thing. But, like, the end with the shoes on the tree, it's like, so that's what we have to remember, you know? Yeah. It's, and, and here we are left looking at this tree and missing our friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the truth is, though, that as subjective as it all is, if you really dig into the song, the, the reason it was written and the lyrics themselves were written for a specific purpose. The video was then created later with a different purpose that kind of symbolizes a tragedy that happened. So there's a lot of different pieces coming into the story. Wow. Um, but regardless of that fact, because one of the things that broke my heart, mm -hmm. broke my heart about, like, here's a guy like me with my tattoos and my beard and whatever. I go on there and I watch this. And because we've had close experience with suicide, like, I'm really putting myself out there. I lost it. And I fought with myself. Like, do I need to put this on the internet? Do I want to put this level of vulnerability out there? Well, I did it. There were so many people that never once heard what I was getting from the art. All they were saying was like, no, you're wrong. That's not what it means. It means this. But... That's not, that's not what it's about. Like you have to allow your, like, the, like every song, every video, like it has a message for me, it has a message for you. And you have to be open to that. 
And so many people just like shut the door of like, no, you, no, that's how are you? No, it's about this, but that's not that's not art. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like it, it 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 was like I took the step to put it out there. This is what I saw of it. This is what it meant to me. And that was kind of uh, therapeutic in a way for me. Um, and then it was a whole different animal to face that other side of things, people's reactions to it. But there were also a lot of people that were like, you know, thank you for doing this. Thank you for putting it out there. And thank you for your interpretation of it. I, I didn't see it that way, but I can see how you got that and, and that kind of stuff. Anyway, the point of all that is that um, I think especially with something like The Queen with Spring Day, allowing yourself to receive the message see what you get from it see if there's a lesson in there maybe there's something that i need to hear that you need yeah. to hear and, and then so be it but um it's yeah I, one, one of the hardest things that i've had to learn and i still i still struggle with is sure for me and i i do think that primarily it's a guy thing we want to fix everything we want to be the hero for everybody right so when a problem comes up, regardless of if, like, if you present a problem to me, I want to give you a solution. Sure. I want to save the day. I want to take you out of your pain. I want to fix it. I do the same thing with Annie. I do the same thing with my friends. Male, female, it doesn't matter. When you talk about there's a winter, spring day will come. Sometimes, and you kind of mentioned this in a different way, but sometimes it's not a matter of telling somebody that's in winter, hey, it's fine. We just got to get to spring day. We just got to get there. Sometimes the best thing we can do is to sit with somebody in their winter yeah. and just be like, hey, it's winter. It sucks. Here we are. Yep. And that's it. And just and just be there with them. I struggle with that because I want to fix everything. But um, right. yeah, how I made this about me, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, it, but, but it's interesting because I think like... I think both are valuable. Mm. Being able to sit with the emotion and to sit with someone who's in so much pain. I sit with people who are in pain all the time. And sometimes people just need you to sit with it and to say, I'm hearing you. I understand. I see your pain. How can I help you? Yeah. What can I do to help you? And it, sometimes my clients will say to me, I just need someone to listen. Yeah. Because ultimately, I am not living their experience, right? Like, I'm not the one that's, I haven't moved through their life. Yeah. And I can understand it in the best way that I possibly can or try to. But it's it's colored by my own experience. Yeah. Right? I think there's value to both though because when someone's ready for that change Ross is there to help right like hey I think you could benefit from this this and this but you know I I um I really like that kind of analogy of winter and spring and like sometimes you just have to sit in the winter yeah um and I felt that many times in my life personally and it's it's hard it's there are so many days that like I just see someone in so much pain and I'm like, I just want to fix it. What do yeah. I do? I want to fix it. I want to fix it. I want to make this better because I don't want them to be in pain. I don't want, you know, and it's not because it's a burden on me, but it's because I'm like, I hate watching a human suffer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I think that maybe from this video, it's like human suffering is inevitable, right? Unfortunately, it's inevitable. And I, I appreciate that they're able to address it in a way that like we can take away we can each take away our own interpretation from that. And, you know, you were saying earlier, Ross, about like, you feel that, you know, th th there have been times where you're, you're like putting your heart out there on the internet for people to potentially judge, right? Like, yeah. they may say, this is great, it's exactly how I feel, or they might say, no, how could you possibly see that? Right. You know, there is like, I think like, BTS speaks to you because you recognize that like everybody we can all be looking at the same thing mm -hmm. and take away completely different right. stuff and it doesn't it's not 
in our interpretation of art is not on the binary. It's not mm. right or wrong. What I think is art may not be what you think is art, but that doesn't mean that it's true or not true. Right. It's your truth and it's my truth. Mm -hmm. um, life changing, man. Getting well, to see these videos and being able to react to them in real time, I'm like, like frankly, I came in and I was like, how am I going to be useful? I, I, I get it. You know, I'm yeah. like, I'm like, what like, can it's I? It's a boy band. It's K-pop. What am I going to? Right. And I think one of my, my genuine reactions was, I don't know what they're saying. So how mm -hmm. can I possibly react to something that I don't know what they're saying? Right. Right. So I was like, I hope he puts on sub captions or whatever mm -hmm. in English, but I'm actually really glad that you didn't. And I know people will complain about that. Some will say like, you should have had the captions on. She should have been able to read the lyrics. And that's their opinion. But for me, it's the visuals will speak to you. 